According to the add-on, it says the video has 84 likes and 21 dislikes. Let's see what it looks like on my YouTube studio page. <laughs> wow. Alright, so this is the return YouTube dislike add-on. This is my first time installing it because I've been on YouTube long enough to know that people would dislike videos for any reason. You can have a really good video, but people will just dislike it. Maybe because they're having a bad day or they just don't like you. I don't know, but they do that. So for me, I don't care about videos having dislikes unless, you know, the dislike ratio is higher than the likes. So yeah, when it comes to dislikes, I don't care about dislikes. I watch the video and judge it for myself before I decide if the video is good enough or not. And if I don't like the video, I just move to the next one. I don't have to dislike the video. All right, so I just installed the add-on and now I'm going to make sure that it will be working when I'm in incognito mode. So I'm just going to click details and then make sure this is selected or enabled. And now when I'm in incognito, the app should work. So now I'm going to just open up an incognito window. And I head to youtube.com and I'm going to test it on a random video. So what video should I search for? All right, so let's see. This video is from three years ago and let's give it a play. So I'll pause it because I don't wish to watch it. And it says 20 million dislikes. So that means the add-on works. But uh, let's see how accurate it is compared to videos on my channel. So I have opened up a bunch of videos on my channel. And um, yeah, I'm going to start with this one. This is a recent video. So I'm just going to copy the link and then paste the link. Enter. And I'm just going to pause. All right, so how to enable or disable ambient mode on YouTube. According to the add-on, it says the video has 84 likes and 21 dislikes. Let's see what it looks like on my YouTube studio page. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is absolutely wrong because yeah, it says it has 13 dislikes and uh, yeah, that is absolutely wrong. So I don't know how this was calculated. Maybe it's like for every 10 likes, you get one dislike. So that means I should have like eight dislikes here because that's what uh, most channels say i watch a lot of youtube growth channels and most of them will be like yeah for every it's like 10 percent of your likes are going to be dislikes so if i'm having 80 likes here that means i should have eight dislikes so this is 21 which is even way higher than what i was expecting for the first video it is not accurate enough let's move to the next video i try not to look at the dislikes as i'm copying the links all right so it says two dislikes and 61 likes and I don't really remember the number of dislikes this video has. So let's just look at it and I'll stop talking now. Wow, okay. It's right. It has two dislikes. Okay, now I'm a bit confused because after the first video, after the first results, I felt like the add-on was not going to be useful. But now I can see that it is useful. It's accurate here. All right, let's try the next video. I'll try not to look at the dislikes. I'm not looking at it. I swear I'm not looking at it. All right, this is a video I made that will show you how to sort videos by oldest on YouTube. I mean, it doesn't work anymore, but I have a bunch of videos that I made that do not work anymore. And going back to always unlist them is something I don't want to do anymore. I used to do that in the past, but now I just feel tired of doing it. But yeah, it has 35 likes and 9 dislikes. So let's see what the results are on my studio page. Well, as you can see over here, it has 13 dislikes. And the reason why it is having dislikes now is because it doesn't work anymore. Some people may watch the video and not realize that I made the video months ago. And YouTube recently just made it stop working. So yeah, that is why it is having more dislikes now. So yeah, let's move to the next video. All right, so this is a video I made about how to block websites on your Android device. I just named it how to block websites on Chrome because many people use Chrome. And um, yeah, you can also do this to block websites entirely on your Android device. So according to the add-on, it has 671 likes and 34 dislikes. So let's see the results. Right, so over here it says 57 dislikes. So I'm trying to see now that um, the add-on is not very accurate. I mean, 57 dislikes is a lot of dislikes and uh, I'm not really sure why it has a lot of dislikes even though it works. But yeah, I can see that it's almost that 10% um, of what you have as likes is what you get as dislikes. I mean, it's almost 10%. So, all right, two more videos to go. Let's test this even further. Okay, this is a video I made like two years ago, you can see it over here, it was made in 2020. The last two videos are going to be very old videos, just because I feel like it's going to have more data compared to recent videos. So over here we have 62 dislikes and um, 692 likes. 
So let's see what it says on the studio page. Okay, so it's just 60 dislikes and um, 693 likes. So I feel like the reason why it is at 62 dislikes over there is because maybe they are just using the old data to calculate and they are thinking about maybe more people must have disliked the video by now. So that's why they added two. I'm not really sure. I'm just thinking about it that way. So let's go to the final video. Okay, for this one, I made this video over a year ago and uh, it says it has 39 dislikes and uh, let's see the result. Well, as you can see, the video only has seven dislikes. So here are my final thoughts about this add-on. I mean, you have seen it for yourself. It's not always accurate. So I don't think I'll be using the add-on. The thing is, I don't even watch YouTube videos on my laptop. I usually watch YouTube videos on my phone. And there is no add-on for phone users to see dislikes. I don't think there is yet. I haven't done any research on that. So for me, I will not be using this add-on. And um, if you guys want to use the add-on, fine. But know that it's not always going to be accurate. I should have done more research on this add-on before making this video. But I just wanted to test it out because I believe that some people that will be using this add-on will just want to try it out without even doing any research on it. And maybe the first video they see will have like 10 million likes and 70 million dislikes and it will be like horrible video. But it's not always accurate. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a like. And if you want to subscribe, please do. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.